So we're going to talk about predicting theoretical probabilities. We've been talking about theoretical probability for the last couple um, of days, and there are two different types. We have simple events, so simple probability, and compound. We're going to do a little bit of both. Um, hopefully you guys are familiar with those type of probabilities by now. And remember, theoretical probability is what should happen. So we haven't done any events. We haven't done any experiments. Um, we're just talking about what should happen if we were to do this experiment. So we're going to start with one that's pretty small. We'll start with a simple event. And then we're going to kind of move up our way to some more compound things. But remember, we are just making predictions. So we're going to use what we know about simple and compound probability to then make some predictions about if we were to do these experiments multiple times. So let's start with this flipping a coin, okay? Um, let's say we want the probability of flipping a coin and it landing on tails. Okay, that one's a pretty easy one. It is a simple event because only one thing is happening. The probability of flipping this coin and it landing on tails, one of the sides would, would be tails out of two total sides. So the probability of it landing on tails would be one half, okay? The prediction part comes in when you start to make a prediction about what could happen if you did this experiment quite a few times. So let's say if we flipped the coin multiple times. So if we flipped the coin 50 times, how many times would it land on tails? Okay. If we flipped the coin 50 times, how many times would the outcome be tails? Okay, so we're going to use what we know about proportions and about fractions to solve this problem. So we know that one out of two, one thing would be tails out of two things. And if we flipped this coin 50 times, so if one out of two, that's kind of one outcome out of two total. If we flipped the coin 50 total times, okay, then we could find how many times it would land on Tails. You probably can figure this out in your head. It's a pretty simple example um, because you know that half of 50 would be 25. But I want to show you that it does work. We can. This is just like a proportion box. We can solve it just like a proportion box. So I could cross multiply 2x equals and 1 times 50 is 50. I divide both sides by 2 and so x equals 25. That means if I were to do this experiment 50 times, okay, if I were to do this experiment 50 times, it should, theoretically, it should land on tails 25 times, okay? So we took what we knew, we started with what we knew right over here, we started with knowing that the probability was one out of two, and we took it and we made basically a prediction that one out of two is some number out of 50. It's just like a proportion, okay? So we'll do another one. We'll do a different type of question. Um, still simple, but we'll kind of do another example. So let's say we want the probability, let's work with the bag of marbles. We want the probability of drawing a blue, okay? Probability of drawing a blue. So if you look down at the bag of marbles, there are two blue marbles out of 10 total things, okay, two out of 10. So um, that probability, we could divide two and 10 both, and we could divide them both by two, so that would be one fifth. So the probability of drawing a blue would be one out of five, okay? Let's say we wanted to know if we drew a marble, let's say 100 times. So if we drew a marble 100 times, how many times would we draw a blue marble? Okay, so we're, we're taking what we know. Again, we're taking the one-fifth, and we're going to make a prediction about what's going to happen. Okay, taking what we know, we're going to make a prediction. So just like we did before, 
we know that one out of five, one time out of five, it's going to be blue. And I want to know how many times out of 100, because that's the number of trials that we're looking at. So one out of five is how many out of 100. Again, I can still do my whole cross multiplication. So I get 5x equals 100. Solve it like you normally would. Divide by 5 on both sides. So x equals 20. Okay? So if we were to spin or to, I'm sorry, if we were to draw a marble 100 times, then we should, theoretically, we should get 20 times that it is blue. Okay? 20 times that it is blue. Again, you're taking what you knew from the beginning, the simple or the compound probability, and then you are making a prediction based on that information, okay? So let's do an example where it is a compound event that's happening, okay? Um, so let's say that we have an experiment, and the experiment is flipping the coin. I want it to land on tails. Then we want to draw a blue marble, okay? So we're going to just make this into a compound event, okay? Um, so flipping a coin, landing on tails, then drawing a blue marble. So we know we have two events, one, two. Two events means two fractions. So your first event, landing on tails, that's going to be one out of two. We already calculated that earlier. And your second event, drawing a blue marble, we actually calculated that one a second ago, and that was 2 out of 10, okay? We know with compound probability, we do top times top, which would be 2, and bottom times bottom, which would be 20, okay? So we can actually go ahead and simplify this guy. We can divide them both by 2, so I get 1 tenth. So the probability of drawing, uh, or I'm sorry, flipping a coin and it landing on tails, and then drawing a blue marble would be one-tenth, okay? So we want to make a prediction this time um, that let's say we're going to do this experiment 200 times. So what happens? How many times would this happen out of 200? So how many times out of 200? Okay, so it's the same thing that we just did, but we had to calculate our probability first. So we calculated our whole probability, we did our whole thing first, and now we're going to use what we know to do something else. So I'm going to use this 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10 is some number out of 200. And this is really just going back to those proportion skills that we've been talking about this year um, as we solve this box. So you probably, you can solve this with a proportion box, 10x equals 200, okay, and 200 divided by 10, 200 divided by 10 is going to be 20, okay. So if I were to do this experiment 200 times, then it should happen about 20 times out of those 200. Remember, we're still dealing with theoretical, so it's really important for you guys to know we're not talking about things that have happened. We're just making a prediction based on what should happen. So we're saying if we roll, if we flip a coin and if we pick a marble, then it should 20 times out of 200, it should be tails and then blue, okay?